doing a Viva Las Vegas Rockabilly Weekend 19 haul. Um, this is part one of part two. I'm going to be showing you guys the clothing um, and a couple of extra things that I got from the Saturday car show and then from the vendors at the Orleans throughout the event from Thursday to Sunday. So I really love these pieces. Um, I'm starting to incorporate more vintage retro style into my everyday wardrobe. Um, and I thought some of these pieces would be really easy to incorporate as well as um, fun to mix and match into my current wardrobe. So one of the first things that I purchased was <laughs> a t-shirt from The Exotics. Um, they were supposed to be playing outside by the pool, I think it was Friday, but it was super windy at Viva Las Vegas this year, so a lot of the acts had to come inside. So the exotics came inside and we um, found them, we were kind of wandering the hotel, <laughs> to be honest, and it's your first time, you kind of just want to walk around and see what what's happening. So we found the exotics, um, they were in like one of the lounge areas, they are... I think it's like a four guy band um and they play more of the like 1950s um like i guess tiki music i'm so sorry <laughs> don't hate me exotics um but a lot of like music you would hear when you're surfing i guess um but they're really fun i've already worn this shirt already with a black circle skirt it was quick, it was easy, wearing a screen tee of a vintage or er, inspired band is a good way to jazz up your wardrobe and keep that rockabilly vintage style going. The other t-shirt that I got was a purchase I made at the car show on Saturday. It is Gordita y Bonita. Um, this is by Marisol Estrella. She was really sweet. She was at her booth. Gordita Ike. Um, her website is www.gorditaike.com. The shirt was 10 bucks. She had a ton of really cute accessories. Um, she's on Facebook and I think on Instagram too. But besides the shirt, I got these really cute little earrings. Um, they're leopard print, they're sparkly, probably like the size of a dime. Um, the t-shirt was 10 bucks. Oh, and the exotic shirt was about 20. So I love wearing just really simple t-shirts. Um, it's cotton blend, pre-shrunk uh, with a circle skirt. It's an easy way to incorporate vintage and not feel like, you know, kind of cartoony. Because um, I was always scared of looking like, you know, a cartoon when I dress vintage. So having a nice fitted t-shirt with a flowy circle skirt without um, a crinoline underneath is a quick way to um, just go out about in the town, get some errands done, and still feel, you know, different and retro. So, and the other thing I purchased at the car show, because my feet were killing me, were these lovely little ballet flats with um, the crisscross ballerina detail. Jessica Simpson has a similar pair that I think are going for like 50 bucks online. Um, a lot of the gals in the vintage retro scene have been wearing them because they're comfy and they're cute. Uh, these were 20 bucks. Ugh, horrible lighting. These were 20 bucks. Um, their brand is Moda, M-O-D-A. You can find them in like downtown Los Angeles in the fashion district. So super cheap, um, comfy. My feet were killing me. So I had to switch it up. Um, the other thing that I purchased, this was from the vendors. Um, it is a circle skirt and it's a plaid brown and like pink with a cream color. Um, it matches my lipstick currently. It has a cute little button on the back. This is a size large. It's polyester. Um, it has pockets, which is really cute. Uh, let's see. Ooh, ooh, ooh. 
blue. I wore this on Saturday to the car show. It was really comfortable. I did wear a crinoline underneath um, just because I wanted to get a little more flare, but quick and easy, just threw it on. Um, I love having pockets in my circle skirts because I can throw my cell phone in there or my lipstick um, and not have to pack too much stuff. So that was a great buy. I think I got that for 60 bucks. Um, circle skirts can get expensive, so that's probably a moderately priced one. The other thing I got at the car show was Freddy's of Pinewood. This is an amazing brand. If you're getting into the vintage um, scene, retro scene, you will see these guys. Um, they're known for their jeans, their denim. I had already spent all of my Viva money by the time I found them at the vendors on Saturday and I wasn't going to go back to my room to get more cash. So I ended up getting this top. It was $50. Um, normally with tax and shipping because they, um, are not in the U S you can get a shirt for maybe 70 bucks. So this was a deal. It's a cropped leopard print. The sleeve has a little bit of puff to it. There's a really nice neckline. Um, the back is solid black. I haven't worn this yet. Hopefully I can wear it with a circle skirt or else I really want to get a pair of um, pinup girl black capris pop out. Um, just because I kind of want to have like that sex kitten vibe when I wear this. Let's see. And now for my true vintage pieces. Um, so these I got from the vendors inside of the Orleans on Sunday. You will find more sales. Um, most of the vendors were having sales anywhere from 25% off to 50% off. Um, I love my vintage pieces. You have to be very careful with them uh, because you can't wash them like you do anything um, that you'd buy at like Forever 21 <laughs> or any other little shop um, that you frequent. They're delicate, they're wool, um, they have embroidery, so just be careful. <laughs> so here's what I got. My first piece is this beautiful 1950s sweater. It's a my sweater girl kind of fantasy. It has beautiful purple and pink and light purple flowers embroidered on both sides as well as the back. Look at that detail. And then the cuffs have it as well. Look at that little flowers. Um, these aren't the original buttons. You guys can probably tell they look like round buttons um like a purple silver uh, it's a size 40 it does have a little tear so i to say um so i have to fix it but i love it it was 20 bucks i got it for 50 percent off on sunday um i haven't seen one like this gray material they're usually pretty solid so it was interesting to um to find this one but you could definitely tell it's a vintage sweater um, the material is really thick and warm. The other vintage sweater I got, sorry about the light guys, is this lovely tan, um, really thick, maybe cotton and wool mix. Um, it has beautiful beading. It's all these different colors of gold and it's on both sides. Um, the back is solid tan, but the... Ah, sleeve has a beautiful little flower on it look how gorgeous that is um so this one i wore the day i bought it <laughs> i added a fur collar to the top buttoned it up and wore it with a black um, circle skirt and i just loved it it was so warm um it does get cold in the casinos when you're walking around because they're blasting the ac to get rid of all of the um cigarette smoke so you want to make sure you're kind of warm um bring a little sweater so that it was a perfect purchase because I got to just throw it on and when we were waiting for our taxi to go back to our hotel room I was warm I was cute I was vintage <laughs> this is another purchase that I made at one of the vendors um I really wanted a Pendleton but they were like 180 bucks and I just didn't want to for it I didn't want to pay for it um this was I think 50 dollars it is can you see it there you go. Um, Western Star 100% Virgin Wool from Seattle. 
Um, it has these great big buttons and pockets. It gave me more of a 1940s vibe, like um, Rosie the Riveter, off to work, beautiful button detail, gathering. I've already worn it to work. Um, I had like cuff jeans on, a white tee, and then this beautiful wool jacket, and it was so comfortable, and it was a really classic silhouette, so I got a lot of compliments at work for it. Um, it does make you feel a little boxy, but, you know, 1940s, that's kind of the inspiration at the time. It wasn't so curve-hugging and things like that. It was about the working girl, so um, I loved this one, too. This other piece, oh, and I forgot to say that one, I think, was 60 bucks. So, again, expensive, um, but great quality. This one, oops just fell off the hanger <laughs> this is a dress that I got it's lace um, it looks like a mantel that my mother has at our house so I know she kind of made fun of me for it but I really love it um, it's a cream color it has like a sweetheart neck can you see that guys and then the top it's cut open where the sleeves are um, and it has this beautiful uh, embroidery of roses on top of the lace in um a solid print lace so i'll show you guys it i didn't notice it when i bought it and then i was in the bathroom changing at viva and i just fell in love with these beautiful details um so anyways i love it it's really form-fitting to the bust um, and then flares out. It's not as big as a circle skirt. It's more of like an A-line, but it still gives you a nice little flow and a twirl. Um, I wore that Saturday night because the vintage piece that I had busted in the back. The zipper just, whoop, just busted right open. Um, nothing I did or ate. It's just sometimes it happens with vintage. So I was lucky to find this dress. It was $80, so it was on sale. Um... <sighs> And I lucked out because it fit like a glove, but I was excited to find a dress. Um, I can't incorporate this in my everyday wardrobe, but when I go to car shows or if I'm going out to a nice event, then I can wear it again. So that's that dress. And then my last little accessory is this little handbag. Um, it's a vintage, I think, 19, late 1950s, early 1960s. It has these wood handles. You could hear it clank together. Um, this little wicker detail with like um, little berries on it. So I felt like I could wear it with different colors. It has a big metal zipper. Um, and it's just little. I liked it. I thought I could wear it with, um, you know, summertime outfits. I really wanted a loose sight purse, but they're so expensive and I can't wear it with everything. So I thought I would go, oops, I thought I would go for something a little more versatile. So I picked my little wicker basket, but... Um, that's part one of my Viva Las Vegas haul. Thank you guys for joining me and sorry about the bad lighting. I'm getting better at this, I hope. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please go ahead and comment below. I'm so excited to start being on YouTube and see where this goes. So, um, I will try to also link some of the vendors um, down below, but bear with me. I'm learning. Okay. Thanks guys. Bye.